currently leading an organization called Haya. And at Haya, we essentially work with uh, communities, organizing them at a very, very local level. We also work with young leaders and campaigners in terms of coaching them on how to run a successful campaign. For me, youth work actually means how do you enable and empower youth people to groom more leaders. Like most of the time, the work is always about empowering individuals, but how do you transcend from an individual to a collective and start thinking about them as a constituency? The award, I feel, just came at the right time, at the right moment, because I was just like, I started working with Haya and we recently started uh, you know, Delhi's office in 2013, late 2013. And it was just like six, eight months when we were trying a model and we were trying to work with youth. And that was the moment when it was recognized at the right point. And post that, it's just been that it's a lot of credibility and recognition that, okay, such kind of model can actually work in India. Young people can actually, if they really want to aspire and if they really want to create something big, that can really happen if you have the conviction and passion to do that. Uh, so I feel that after that there has been recognition, a lot of networks, like a lot of people have just approached me in terms of just learning about the work that I do. Um, and I feel that's the most important piece. I feel uh, governments can support youth work, first of all. Uh, there are two elements to that. I just feel that recognizing youth, was, youth work is a cultural issue and then recognizing youth and then there's a financial aspect to it, right? Upfront financing and resources is the second aspect to it where government can come in. And the first important issue is that, are you really building a culture through institutions and framework which is bringing youth work in the center of discussion? So I think these are the two angles where I feel, feel government's uh, role is really important.